Hello puppies! Today it's Sunday. I'm in Harajuku, which is crazy to be in for Lolita on a Sunday. But I wanted to go to the Gothic and Lolita market. The thing is, you could only buy tickets in advance if you have a Japanese card and Japanese phone number, which I don't obviously. So I came one hour early of the first session because there are six different sessions on the whole weekend because this is such a big thing and so many Lolita. I guess in Tokyo and I can only buy tickets for the second or third session so I will have to spend my day alone in Harajuku in full day this week which is crazy because I've seen so many lolitas already lining up everywhere and they are all so far who I've seen gothic classic or old school I did not see a single sweet lolita so I guess it's like Europe the big events and I understand why I like the American community because it's actually very sweet friendly. Apparently the Japanese community is not that sweet friendly. We'll see. Little side quest. I was allowed to buy tickets but only with cash and my boyfriend took all the cash. The other day we put all the money together. So I had to go to a 7-Eleven. By the way, this is a very good spot. There's 7-Eleven ATM banks usually can let you withdraw cash with your international card not all the atms in japan will let you but 7-eleven is a good thing so let's go back and try to get a ticket i have secured my ticket for the second session and this is the line for the first one so i don't imagine how many people there are and when i was there an hour before there were already i would say 25 people lining up so i guess they told me to come half an hour before, but I might come one hour before, just to be sure, because there are so many people. So I registered in advance to be allowed to film, and they gave me this. And so now with this gorgeous thing on my cord, I am now allowed to film anything for YouTube on this area. I think there's only like four people that are six something are still on the list, so nice. So the market is mostly two things. So one super big hall here with a lot of stalls. Most thing I would say is gothic and classic stuff. Like the kind of people who are here. And there's a few that have sweet stuff. But it's mostly mostly small accessories and headwear. There are a few dresses, but those are definitely gothic. And there's a section here at the front, and this is a remote selling of other brands that are just shipping through here and the organizers are selling. Someone was super nice and asked me if she wanted me to take photos of my cord in it because she saw I was alone. So I now have photos of my cord, yay! There is also a photo booth with a professional photographer, but you had to reserve that in advance and it was super fast sold out. Each of the six slots they have are only open for one hour and 45 minutes. The 15 minutes are to empty the hall and let the other group come. And actually in like half an hour I had already seen everything because it's not that big and there's a lot of people but not all the booths are my style so that was quite short actually to, to see everything. And so my friends went on their first section that I could not get tickets for. So I'm here alone. So I guess if you go with friends, it's more fun because you can take photos and everything. And there's one black backdrop where you can actually kind of take photos. That is not the photo booth, but there's a super cute terrace over there where you can take very nice photos with the city in the back but you need somebody to help you i guess and also i forgot my tripod why i think now it's been more than an hour and i think i'm i'm done i've seen everything i bought a few things and i have looked at so many japanese lolitas i had never seen that many japanese lolitas and i will see more next week when there will be the tea party so i'm very much looking forward to that there was another detail that i had to be sure of there's a dress code for the tea party and any brand that has ever participated in the gothic and lolita market or tea party is eligible but they have a huge list and i did not own anything from these because they're mostly very small accessories brand from japan and 
and they said you can buy anything at the market but the things I bought from is not on the list so I confirmed with them that the necklace that I bought today is enough for the tea party to have an item but I must absolutely not forget to bring it to the tea party I don't know if they cannot confirm you have something for here will it kick you out I'm not sure let's not forget it Today is a week after and this is the day of the tea party! I'm looking for it! There are three different slots and my ticket says 200. Are there 600 lolitas or more on the full day and a split into three different slots? To accommodate all the lolitas that are here, this is crazy. I'm looking forward to see a lolita tea party in Japan because this is my first time going to one, so let's see! So it's mostly Japanese people, but also I'm very interested to see that there's a lot of older lolitas, really older, like 60s, 70s, and also a lot of men wearing lolita and not necessarily OG. Also a lot of people wearing OG in general. And it's actually like in Europe, not that many sweet people like exactly at the market. So a lot of classic, a lot of gothic, and hello me! So for the tea party, if you did not have a Japanese card or phone number, you could not really book the tea party ticket. But if you emailed them, they would send you a form that is in English. I think it was also already on the web page. And then they send you a link where you can pay with any credit card. I think, I thought it was PayPal, but no, just any credit card. And then they will just email you your ticket. There was something written kitty on the menu, so I had to try. And they put her the wine and half something from a tap so it's either lemonade or water we'll try it could be ginger ale hmm. i don't know i think it's just the wine with water i don't know it's okay i guess this party is held in a bar that's called solomon and apparently it's super gorgeous but apparently there's not enough room for everybody. It's not like a seated tea party or anything. We managed to get a couch, but our couch does not have a table because the closest table is a, a raffle table. And apparently, yeah, a lot of people will not even be able to sit. This is a bit weird. We are lucky that we could sit because we also got this. And inside there are some pamphlets and we got a bag we got a bag and inside there's also a pen and some cards and we can write messages to other people that is so 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 cute and i got this badge because i'm allowed to film because i requested the permission to be able to film this event but some people will have the sign to not be filmed so and apparently there's a open bar it's very cute because i made some cookies and macarons with the logo of the event that's very very nice they had a game where people who wanted to play they got prompts so find somebody with such and such in a court and apparently they had to find some cotton lace and I had three different ones let me see if I can show you here at the bottom of my dress and here and so that person won and I also won because it was together and so then I got a super cute necklace that is made like a cookie it's gorgeous and so because I actually wore my um, dress from Fluffy Dory. I got to win this, so this is so cool. I actually had hoped that I, by then I would have bought some fancy and pretty dress at Close the Child that I could wear to this event. And the only one that I got, I could not really coordinate it with what I had, so I had to wear this and I was uh, feeling a bit underdressed. So I'm happy that I won this because of this dress. So it's over, our slot was from 7 to 9.30, so it's pretty late now, but it's so so cool. And at the end we could take some kind of a lottery and if there was something in the paper, we could get something from the table of the rest of the like raffle. There was not really a raffle, there was the raffle. And since I won something already, uh, my friend did not get anything in his, so I gave him mine. And then at the end, I was talking to the people at the entrance, like the organizers, and they said, oh, did they do the 
lottery and the guy explained that they gave my ticket to my friend and so they gave me one of the last two tickets because I had extra prices because I was generous enough to give it to my friend so I got this extra brooch with a super kawaii beer thank you so much oh my god I highly recommend you to go to this event even though it's all in Japanese they made sure that I was able to get a ticket and everything everybody was so nice honestly even as a foreigner I had so much fun I highly recommend you to attend the Gothic and Lolita market and tea party next time again it's actually twice a year I don't know if they do the tea party twice a year but I think the market is definitely twice a year it was so interesting for me to see the market in Japan to see actually the lolitas who would come and pay to go to an event there were a lot of men wearing lolita a lot of older person wearing lolita a lot of plus size lolitas so now that the big brands say oh our market is actually only young girls super thin it's not the case i saw this myself you would have seen that in my videos everybody can be kawaii and even in japan the Lolita community is more diverse than I would have thought and more close to the diversity we have in Europe and in the US. I saw even more men and more older person than in the West actually. So I'm very impressed by the Japanese Lolita community. Everybody was so nice. A lot of people came to talk to me. That was so, so, so nice. So thank you so much for watching and remember everybody can be kawaii. Bye bye!